I came to Shantiniketan 42 years ago. And I've been living in this house with this lovely garden since about 30 years. I am here at the university. I've been first a student. Then I stayed on in Chantiniki town as a research scholar. And that is what I still am here. I first worked on Ramakrishna, translating his conversations with his disciples, again from Bengali to German. Then I moved on to Swami Vivekananda, translated him from English to German. And then I discovered Rabindranath Tagore coming here to Shantideketan, translating his poetry from Bengali into German. Then I wrote his biography in German, the only one that exists. And then I wrote extensively on Tagore's relationship with Germany. When you speak about the philosophy, I find him important for our time, especially because of his mission to connect, to universalize nature, and that means the environment, and bring man and the environment together spiritually. I took the cycle out uh, after my work in Shantiniketan and went into the various villages, practiced my Bengali. And wonderfully, they all know my name. And they say, hello Matinda, good morning, namaskar. And that really is such a lovely feeling. I do not want a total assimilation, I want to have a fusion. That means certain aspects of my former German life I would also to integrate here. And at the same time I would take the good of Indian life and live it here and also bring it back to Germany. My mother was very supportive right from the beginning. She never said, well, why are you not coming back? My father did that. Fathers are like that. He only accepted my work and my choices, my style of life, when somebody else asked him, is that article which I've seen in this and that newspaper by your son? Are you uh, related to Martin Kempson? And then he suddenly woke up, sort of, and said, yes, I am. I see myself not only as a bridge maker, but as the bridge itself. Because I try to bring Europe into India and India into Europe. And that is what I have been doing for the last 40 years. The school in Kosaldanga is called Rolf Schoems Bidashram. Rolf Schoems was an astrophysicist in Munich in Germany who probably listened to one of my lectures and talks about our work with the Chantals in Germany. And we discovered that in his will, he gave us a good chunk of money. We were waiting for such a thing to happen to start the school. And that is how the school started, from this little, little seed. They are getting this offering of education which is friendly to children, which is friendly to poor children, and friendly to Chantal children. We offer art, music, and sports. This is the Tagorean way of educating. 
It all started without any concept of wanting to do social work. I am not a social worker. I always call it service for friends, friendship work. Later on, I wondered, how was it possible to do this? Just like a mountaineer, when he is up there on the, on the top of the mountain, he says, how was it possible to come up here? There was no heroism at all when I was doing it. Now I feel a bit like a hero, sometimes. My autobiography, which then came out this year, in 2022, tries to cover not so much my life. I'm not talking about the little things that are experiencing in my life every day, but how I have seen India in the last 50 years, which would not be possible by just writing on India. India is too rural, it's too complex. The too muchness of India would not be able to come between two uh, book covers. Freedom means the freedom to listen to these wonderful birds, which in an occupied country would not be possible. In today's Ukraine, this would not be possible. We would shoo away the birds. I will take back from India the smiles of the children, the smiles of young people also, their innocence, their total naivete in the good sense. And also the openness of the society that I have appreciated and liked and would not ever want to miss. And I feel extremely grateful, blessed even, of having had these 50 years. Mm -hmm.